Welcome to XSS tutorial number one, what is cross site scripting? In this series we'll be learning what cross site scripting is and how it works. We'll also learn how to craft different kinds of cross site scripting attacks and learn how we can avoid some filters trying to stop our cross site scripts. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Cross site scripting, otherwise known as XSS, is a code injection attack allowing the injection of malicious code into a website. XSS is currently one of the most common website attacks, with almost every website requiring the user to have JavaScript turned on, as well as large websites and services that have large amounts of input fields that could potentially be vulnerable. Rather than being an attack on the website itself, XSS uses the website as a means to attack the users of that website. When you can get your XSS permanently on a website, all those who visit that page will have the JavaScript executed by their browser. This can lead to some very serious damage. So what can XSS actually do to its victims? JavaScript can be crafted into executing all sorts of malicious tasks. For example, stealing users' cookies, allowing someone to pretend to be that user and access the site as if they were logged in as the target user. You could also modify the page after it arrives at the user's browser, changing links to malware downloads or editing the look of the website. It can be used to send you to a completely different website where you, where you may have your login details fished. So what is happening? How does it work? First of all, we have to discuss how HTML works, because HTML is a tag based language. When we open a tag, such as the B tag for bold, all the text after that tag will become bold until a match and closing bold tag is found. But what might happen if we were to open that bold tag in, for instance, a search box that doesn't strip the tag? Well, let's think about this slide. If I placed a bold tag near the start here, but didn't close it, then the rest of this slide will be bold. The scary part of XSS comes when we introduce the script tag, which is invisible to the user and tells the browser anything between these script tags is JavaScript. Keep in mind, I'm keeping this very simplistic to get the concept introduced easily and steady. We'll get into the basics next tutorial with some simple examples. Now, quickly onto what topics we'll be looking at in this series. We have non-persistent scripts, persistent scripts, malicious attacks, avoiding basic filters, avoiding advanced filters, and finally analyzing Twitter's TweetDeck XSS script that made a self-retweeting tweet to thousands of people in mid-2014. Just a heads up, I have some small prerequisites. A fairly strong understanding of JavaScript is required if you wish to easily follow along. A fair understanding of HTML is also required, as well as the rough idea of how web backend works. Of course, without skills in JavaScript, you won't possess the power to construct your own scripts. The next thing we'll be looking at is the basics of an attack and non-persistent scripts. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.